today on Tools in Action, we're talking about the king of reciprocating saws, Milwaukee Tool, with their Sawzalls. We all know that they make the best Sawzall on the market. They invented it. We call it pretty much every brand of Sawzall. Their Everybody name, does, yeah. Their name is synonymous with reciprocating saws, the Sawzall. What do we got here, Eric? The Hacksaw. The Hacksaw. Hacksaw. The M12. The M12. Now you can see, I've got, this is the new Fuel, and the model number on this is 2520, and Dan's got the older version. And this is the uh, 2420. And you can see there's a bit of a difference in terms of size. And weight also, that's 1.5. No, this is 4.1, and I think that's 2.6. I was going to say 1.5 pounds heavier. Oh, gotcha, okay, wow. I did some, yeah, I did some math. That's very good. It's, so, so that is heavier, uh, you know, at first, I was like, whoa, I don't know, Eric, that's heavier. But after putting them through their tests and paces, you only have to hold that half as long as you have to hold this one. Yeah, I don't mind. So. Personally, I don't mind a size difference. I mean, I guess if you're getting entire spots, maybe, or something like that. Um, but it looks like overall length is about the same. But <coughs> this thing, man, you show on the video. Yeah, I you guess. guys can see right there how fast that thing just chomps through red butter. It's night Two and day. Two brand new Both, blades. Yeah. yeah. Both the axe. We used axe blades, and this thing definitely is night and day. Right. On it. Right. No, it's pretty awesome. I think Milwaukee came through this time, and, uh, you know, even with that added weight, is it's still pretty awesome. And it's one thing I have noticed about Milwaukee that I do like is that they don't just come out with a new tool to come out with a new tool. There's actually serious improvements with their tools. Same thing with their Milwaukee M12, their fuel line. Um, the M12s, like the drill and stuff like that. There's a difference the way it's shaped, the way it feels, stuff like that, plus the power. This one definitely on the right. power. Right, yeah, they didn't just, you know, take this swap throw and brush this motor in. Although that might have been a good idea also. Mm, I don't know. I mean, Possibly. the performance. You see, this is a, such a widely used tool by a lot of contractors and a lot of people out there. Oh, electricians use, love that yeah. stuff. Cut through EMT, all that stuff. <clears throat> Plumbers cutting PVC. They use it all day long. In fact, uh, I think... You'll probably see at the end of the video where I was just some shop talk. We were talking to some guys. We're talking to John. He's an electrician. And Pat, he's a bodybuilder. He owns Bodybuilders, which is a, a body shop. We're going to give a tour of that to you guys pretty coming up pretty soon. But two professionals right there talking about it, and I just happened to catch it on tape. Well, and we were actually, when we were downtown up in the skyscraper that they were doing, we saw these guys using it to cut a lot of pipe off. Yeah. Remember when that's we all, that they was yeah. The, the, all they were so. using was Milwaukee saws. You can't beat them, you guys. I mean, that's pretty much, they invented it. So, you know, with the new XC40 battery pack, it's going to give you that run time. What are the stats on this uh, thing? Five-eighths in stroke length, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute, variable speed through the trigger there. It's got the LED light on the front, a fuel gauge. And like Eric says, it weighs 4.1 pounds and it's 13 and a quarter <coughs> inches long. Yeah, and that's too a good thing. A couple things is the fuel gauge is actually on the actual tool. It's not on the battery. Uh, LED light on the front, which is nice to have. You always can use some light on it. Same kind of, um, uh, I'm trying to think, was not the chalk. Um, the bit ejector system. Yeah, same as you see on the actual Sawzalls. The one thing I would like to see is a, a pivoting uh, shoe and like an adjustable shoe. Right. I think that would be nice to have. And you know what the nicest thing is? Is Eric's giving that to me. I don't think so. Why? Nope. Are you serious? You said you were going to give it to you me. You got that one right there. That's yours. Shut up. You're giving it to me. Nope. All right. This one's mine. Well, luckily, you guys, I'm hooked up with the tool nut. So, looks like Danny got himself a little something. Got myself Sweet. a little fuel hacksaw. Nice. Now I don't have to, because I love these tools. This, this, uh, I mean, they come in handy so much. So many different things you can use these on. So I'm glad you got your own. Now you don't have to yeah. worry about, I don't have to worry about you stealing mine. Special thanks to the tool nut on that <coughs> one. They totally hooked us up. And also, Eric, since you weren't going to give that to me, I'm going to uh, give you these tool nut shirts. It's like an award ceremony. You're going to give me one? Well, actually, I got four. You can have oh. one. Really? Wow. Yeah. Do you want two? I... Do you want to? Would you wear two? All I ever wear is this thing. I know, dude. but would you wear two? At the same time? Sure. Do you want that, why two, not? Or do you want. No, you What size take are two. they? Extra large. large. Yeah, I tend to get a lot of food and stains on mine. These are cool shirts, you guys. You can actually yeah. buy them. I don't know why you would buy them, but I mean, they're just cool shirts. They have all your favorite brands down here on the lower right. He said, here, you can have that one too. Oh, wow. I got two. I'm wearing one of them, as you can see. So, oh, thanks. Tool Nut, what we like about Tool Nut is not only does he uh, hook us up with t-shirts but whenever i need a tool i can just get it from tool nut and it's free shipping that's what i like i don't like to pay shipping and 
he's usually pretty much on board with everybody's prices, if not better. Sweet. What do you think about Toolnet? Gotta say, so far dealing with Toolnet, I like. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? So far dealing with Toolnet, I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How can I complain? I got two free two sh tool shirts, you know. Yeah, dude. How they're can cool. you not like them? They're cool. All right, but back to the Milwaukee Fuel. <laughs> this thing's a big improvement over the last one. Yes, it's a little bit bigger. We would like to see a you know a sh adjustable pivoting uh, shoe. We're gonna do on an there. unboxing while Eric's talking. But all in all, man, this is a huge improvement, and a lot of you guys, we know a lot of people use these. Definitely the fuel is a big improvement. Not that this thing was bad, because this thing still rocked. Wow, is that a bottle opener? I don't know, you got a bottle, let's try it. No, oh, but that looks like a bottle opener, doesn't it, you guys? On the, uh, I bet you that's a bottle opener. It does opener. look like one. On the bag there, that's a good idea, open it up. So, unboxing, uh, your little saw comes in that bag, comes with a owner's manual, comes with a brochure, comes with the XC pack, Comes with the actual tool. Wow, there's a sticker on where it says Milwaukee. What else? You got a charger, 12 volt charger. Charger and a little blade, a baby blade. All I have is long blades, so I'm gonna have to start getting into these shorter blades for these things. But I like oh, those long in. blades. Well, and these things can still handle those long blades. That's what I like about well, yeah, it. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're long blades, if you're cutting down and you're kind of pushing down, they're nice. Cool. Thanks, Eric. <coughs> Anytime. Yeah, don't right. ever say I don't ever do anything Thanks, for you. Thanks, Toolnut. Toolnut hooked us up. We want you guys to uh, show the love and go on over to Toolnut, especially if you're ordering something online. Check them out first, toolnut.com. Uh, Milwaukee Fuel Hacksaw, loving it. What I would like to see is how this goes against the DeWalt. Yeah. Let's check All it right. out. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll have a tool fight. See, and especially in tight areas and I believe I have I, I, I bought this thing that I put it in mm -hmm. so when you're doing because I use it for copper which is awesome for copper but I just have it with me and you don't even know it's on you because it's so light. right right it's awesome love it but I would like like Dan said I would like to see the 20 volt because or the fuel the fuel will be a total tradesman one you know yeah because that's all I need to just rip through conduit just rip through conduit what I like, like yesterday, I was up here and I just had it, I stuck it in my pocket mm -hmm. like, like this because I was up there and I was walking along that thing and I got my hammer drill, I'm drilling, cut, I had everything in me, but it's so small, you know? Yeah, love it. <laughs> so I love it. Cool. Yeah, everybody's complaint was about vibrating. It doesn't vibrate that much. No. Well, when it's on your work, you'll feel a little bit, but all of them are gonna, you know, well, I mean, it's a, there's it's not small, much to the saw, right. right? That ain't that much vibration. I never even thought about that. that right, that's the only, yeah. I love the ergonomics of it. So do I. That's exactly what I was talking you about. You know, you might not get that with the DeWalt, with that angle. That's the thing I didn't like about the DeWalt a little bit. No, but I didn't like the DeWalt at all. Because yeah. Because of that angle. This right. One. This is a true one-handed tool. Exactly. The DeWalt is not. Done, I'm sold. Yeah, go to the, go to the fuel, though, for you. Yeah, get a fuel. They didn't have the fuel or I would have bought it when this came out. Pretty sure you can just go to oh, Home Depot. Thing. How yeah. long have those been out? Oh, that's been out for years. Because I got it right when they came out. Really? Well, well those aren't the first set of batteries that you got with it then. No, I got, no, I, I got, know, a, I bought a bunch of extra batteries. Yeah? I bought uh, Red lithiums, they're called. I got both. I got the square ones, you know, the square bottoms so you can stand Oh, up. yeah, the XC's. Nice the too. XC packs are real nice. That you can stand it up when I put the square bottom mm -hmm. battery in, it stands up. Yeah, so. Like it. Yeah, but I no, I bought a bunch of extra batteries. I got, I think I got four of the two, five tools, two ratchets, three three eighths. Oh, you got the ratchets too? How do you like the ratchets? That quarter drive ratchet, I that's my go-to tool all day long, every day. Really? Everybody borrows it. It ticks me off, man. I'm always looking for it. I'm like, buy your own, man. You know. Anyway, that quarter drive is got so much torque. Once you break it loose, it can take over a pretty tight bolt. Yeah. yeah. They were one of the first to have a cordless ratchet. I like it. Yeah, well, Skill had one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Man, dollars. Pat, you were so smart with tools. I can't believe it. Skill had one for 59 bucks, no torque at all. It was like, it was like useless. It would it'd be good for electronics or something like a TV, take it, if, if you could use it for that. But it has no torque at all. 
and then they came out with the Milwaukee came out with that one, and it it's got ten times the torque of the skill, if not twenty times. Yeah. And it, it if you got a tight bolt like like a, even a a nylock bolt where they're hard to get off or a crown bolt. You, once you crack it loose, that thing, it'll ratchet it off. It, it'll be slow until it picks up speed, but it, you don't have to sit there and go oh, like nice. this with it. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. The only thing that sucks for you, though, is that you already have the 12-volt DeWalt, so now you're going to be getting another battery line. Another, I know. Well, then yeah. buy that. If you already got 12, oh, DeWalt, you have DeWalt. Yeah, he has a DeWalt 12-volt, so I now his only dilemma. Nothing. Dilemma. Walking. But man, you're not gonna beat one-handed comfort on that saw. No, yeah. That is the best. Is it. I, I, I love that thing. I Bosch is exactly the same too, but. Well, I can testify to the longevity because I've I've had it. Jeez, a year and a half, two years. Mm -hmm. So I I thought it was newer than what you said. That's been. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been. I might be wrong. I, I've but. had it uh, when it was fairly new, and I was leery of buying it. I looked at it about ten times going in there, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. But I don't like it, I'll return it. Some people. And I'm like, man, why did that buy this when it came out? You know? Right? Yeah, it's a great little tool, man. You definitely need one. Yeah. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Cool. It's a great Maybe I'll get a fuel and I'll give you mine, dude. Right. Seriously. Mine's just like that. You have the batteries, right? Yeah, I can get those batteries. Alright. Tool talk. This is super live. You guys are gonna be on the next tool talk. Well, you obviously don't watch Tool Talk. I know, I show people your uh, website. Yeah. Really? Yeah, at the shop. Did, did they watch it? Yeah, they were like, we went through a few videos. Yeah. Oh, cool. Did they like it? So, yeah. Cool. They didn't never knew about it. So it was it was cool. I shared it with them. Well, thanks, I, Pat. I talked to my